Well, we're moving on to something that kind of bites. Yeah, today I heard about something that's just bananas. Weaponized ticks loaded with Lyme disease, for real. In fact, it's so for real, Congress is looking into this. And since we live in the land of bug bites, we wanted to get some dang answers on this. Here's Gordon Severson. Straight out of the pages of science fiction, militarized ticks ready to kill. Not like this, riding missiles into the air, but with diseases like Lyme disease. The theory is scientists during the Cold War ran experiments on ticks and other insects to create biological weapons. And somehow those bugs got out, either released on purpose or by accident. Which is why some believe we're seeing a big uptick in Lyme disease. In the last 20 years, the CDC says Lyme disease cases have gone up by nearly 300%. With that big of an increase, it makes sense that people would try to come up up with unique ways to explain that. Right, I think it's just a conspiracy theory. I don't really see it as reality. Janet Jarnafeld is the tick expert at the Metropolitan Mosquito Control District. She spent the last 30 years studying ticks and says this idea of turning them into weapons is hard to believe. It doesn't make any sense to me that somebody from the military would be wanting to experiment on a creature that moves so slowly. And she wonders why Lyme disease, which isn't exactly deadly, it can lead to a lot of problems, but if you're designing a tiny killing machine, she feels there are better options out there. It doesn't make any sense to me. For better options, just look at history. During World War II, scientists had all sorts of crazy ideas involving animals. One of them, the bat bomb. The idea was to strap tiny explosives on a bunch of bats and drop them on the enemy. Those bats would then settle into people's attics and would eventually explode, causing panic and fires everywhere. The idea backfired during an experiment when a stray bat burned down a hangar at the base, and the idea was ultimately scrapped. Scientists also created a pigeon-guided missile. That's right, you heard me correctly. So the idea of weaponized ticks isn't as crazy as you'd think, especially not to the author of this book, Bitten, the Secret History of Lyme Disease and Biological Weapons. Written by Stanford University science writer Chris Newby, who also directed a documentary on Lyme disease. Another believer, U.S. Congressman Chris Smith from New Jersey, who led the charge earlier this month to get the Department of Defense to look back into its archives and find any proof of these experiments. Congress actually approved the idea, so now we wait to see what they find out. Will you be interested in finding out what they do? uncover <laughs> I will be very interested and I don't know um, I don't know what's gonna happen I guess that's kind of the fun of science too if I get a new fact that's gonna make me change my viewpoint on it then I would change it but for now I don't suspect that's gonna happen I reached out to the author of the book and the congressman who's leading the charge but I haven't heard back from them at this time I also reached out to the Minnesota Department of Health's tick experts and they don't want to comment on it and it, it's just a really interesting story but the person who wrote the book actually claims to have a person who worked on this project for the Pentagon and they were quoted in the book extensively so there is a little bit of possible truth to this Gordon you continue to freak me out, but here's the thing, you know, maybe we didn't have ticks as killing machines is the idea, but ticks as torture machines certainly Possibly. is plausible. It keeps a lot of people inside the summer this time of year because yeah. people are just afraid of ticks and mosquitoes between ticks and mosquitoes. There's no reason to go outside anymore. I mean, we all remember our first tick check. Oh, yeah. Scary moments. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Gordon.